So I've done a bit of coding on the app now and um, there's quite a few things I want to talk about but in this lesson um, we're just going to be talking about uh, Laravel's templating engine blade. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on it but I'm going to show you how I was able to um, extract the theme from its static HTML and then move it into Laravel's templating system. Um, so let's just go over to the code here and um, Laravel uses master files. These are, um, they might be originally from C Sharp. I know C Sharp has master files, but basically um, in the views folder, um, you'll create a layouts folder. Uh, this is sort of a standard, and uh, inside the layouts folder, we'll have a file called master.blade.php, or you could call it default.blade.php. And if you have .blade.php at the end, um, what you're going to be able to do is use blade syntax in it, uh, which is Laravel's templating engine. So you'll be able to output um, variables using this, um, using these double curly braces, and use things like at yield content. So let's just go over to the controller first, so you can see um, basically the flow of how this works. So, for example, inside my lead controller here, and we'll talk about what's happening in this code. Um, possibly in the next video, but you'll see that um, well everything starts at the routes file. Um, of course, let's um, let's open up that that routes file, which is in the app folder and routes.php. Okay, so um, let's use this lead controller. So for the FCL route, we're going to the lead controller, so we can go over there, and inside here we'll go into our index function and some logic is going to happen and then we're finally going to return a view and the view that we're going to return is this leads.index and we're also going to pass it through um, this data array so leads.index so that means we need to go over to our views folder and then go into the leads folder and then open up index.blade.php and then we're you know the script is going to come in here now the first thing that happens is here is we have this statement here at extends layouts.master um, which is basically like an include in PHP. So what we're doing is we're including the master file here. And the master file is right here, and this is going to start outputting our HTML. Um, we have a variable that's being output. This variable was passed through um, with the data array, so inside lead controller, this dot data gets passed through, and then uh, Laravel I'm sure it must use the extract function of PHP and it extracts all of the um, the indexes within that data array and, and converts them to their own variables. We first start off, we go over to master.blade.php we start outputting this HTML and once we get past this head here we yield out the content. So this yield content, now we come back to um, index.blade.php and then we start we output this content right here so inside here we have at section and then everything you want to go inside this section is there and you complete the sec section with at stop so we have at extends and at section and at stop within the view and in the master template you will um, you can output variables if you like and you will yield out the content so that um, the main view is is being output right here. So let's just talk a little bit about um, basically moving a static theme into Laravel. Um, the process is pretty simple. If I go into my public right here and my home page is actually using this login.html so when I'm looking at this login.html I'm looking for like I'll be looking at login.html and I'll also be comparing it to other ones such as register.html and I'll look for um, sections that are common across um, all of the different pages. So basically this login H and, and register to HTML, they have the same head right here. So this is the header. And these are including all of the same things. So um, you know we want our code to be as dry as possible. So um, basically I'm taking all of this out, I'm copying it, and then pasting it into um, the HTML right here. Now sometimes you also will want to put the body tag inside here, um, but you know when I reviewed these, uh, actually all of the pages have different body tags. So within this theme I'm using, they have different classes. You can see the classes for the login page, 
and you can see the classes for uh, this one, the body. So the body tags are all different. So because they're all different, we can't put them into the master file. Um, we have to yield them out with the content. So when we yield out our content, uh, you will see, where's my index? Uh, here it is. Um, we have, uh, well, in this case, we, we don't have the body, but if I went to my um, another page, such as my login page, we'll close this up and go to views, and then auth login. In this case, you'll see that the body tags are inside these because they're different um, amongst all the different pages. Lastly, I'll just talk a little bit about the um, Blade templating engine itself. Um, you have to have the .blade.php at the end of it. Um, in order for blade syntax to work. And if we go in here, um, just a few different things, outputting variables, place it inside these um, double curly braces. You can use for each loops. Um, they, they look a lot nicer than the PHP for each loops. You don't need um, curly braces on it, just for each and end for each. There's other stuff like that we have a four and then there's uh, that came out automatically and then you end that with an end for um, that's another example uh, another thing is the comments are very interesting so you can do PHP comments um, with Laravel as well um, these are really these are really useful when for example when you call, want to comment out sections of code so um, Let's see if I if I cut this out right here. Oh, sorry, the last part. Let's cut this out and I paste this here. So this is all a PHP comment, and this is a good way to comment out your HTML because if you comment out your HTML like this with PHP, it's not going to be able to be viewed in the browser. Whereas if you used HTML style, um, this would be viewable in the browser. It would make your download size you know bigger when people were uh, downloading your page, so it's good to use those um, these uh, blade um, these blade comments. Those are those are really useful. I won't talk more about all of the different things you can do with blade. Um, you can find all of the documentation on that on Laravel's documentation. But um, the last thing I wanted to point out um, about you know using the Laravel's views is when you are using this return view make just remember that the first one here is the folder that it's in and the last one is the file name so leads here is the folder and dot index here means look for index.php or look for index.blade.php if you didn't want to put your um, view files inside folders you could just remove this leads here and it would look for index.blade.php inside um, the views folder, but if you want to keep things a bit more organized, it's good to um, you know place into structure into uh, folders here. So that's all I want to say about the Blade templating engine in this lesson. In the next lesson, we will look at some uh, planning we can do in order to um, keep our code as reusable as possible, and also to uh, reduce the amount of code we write in our application.